It is time to redecorate this room. The wall should be clean and without marks. If not, it must be carefully washed and any holes must be repaired. Cover the floor with a paper dust sheet to protect against splashing. For this job, you will need masking tape, a sealant gun, an angled brush, a knife, an extension pole, together with a small and a large roller set. Start by carefully masking all mouldings. Apply sealant in all places where there are gaps and smooth it out with a moist fingertip. Prime the wall first. Using an angled brush, paint along the mouldings and in the corners to make the job easier when using the roller. Complete one wall at a time so that the paint doesn't have time to dry. Cut in carefully around power outlets and power switches using the brush. Use the small roller to roll over the areas you have painted with the brush. You can use the brush to stipple the areas that can't be accessed with the roller in order to produce the same structure as a rolled surface. Assemble the large roller. Use an extension pole to save time and to give you a better working position. Now paint the remaining areas with the roller. Let the wall dry. Wrap the roller in a plastic foil so that you can take a minute to enjoy the weather, if it's as good as ours. When it is time for the second coat, follow the same steps as for the first coat. Make sure that the surface is even and that you don't leave too much paint when you finish with the roller. Remove all masking tape before the walls have dried, otherwise it may be difficult to peel off the tape. You can also use a knife to detach the tape more easily.